This is Culture Girl, and we're here at the Rose Art Museum at a wonderful exhibition drawn from its own collection. Uh, and we're here with Roy Dawes, Director of Operations at the Rose, and Dabney Haley, Director of Academic Programs, a rather new Director of Academic Programs. Dabney, how long have you been here now? Since mid-August. Since mid-August. And Dabney threw together this incredible show of paintings from the collection in a period of three and a half weeks, I think it is? Thereabouts. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes. Roy, t tell us a little bit about why this precipitous uh, exhibition happened. Why, why did things uh, get to the point where they had to be done really quickly? Um, well, we had some issues with some artists that had been um, scheduled to come here, and um, they didn't feel comfortable um, exhibiting at this point in time. Mm -hmm. um, and as I said to you, um, you know, we couldn't go on with our jobs if we didn't feel that things were going to get better here at the Rose, and they have been getting better steadily. In what ways? How have they been getting better? Well, Dabney <laughs> has joined the staff. Mm -hmm. um, That's right. Kristen Parker uh, has joined the staff from uh, the Gardner Museum, and she's tremendous. She's been a, a terrific asset. So having these two uh, strong women come in uh, has been terrific. Have increasing the staff. Okay. Um, and um, just getting very positive feelings uh, from across campus um, as we move forward. Uh, and let, let me ask you the most important question, uh, Roy, which is what about the fate of the collection? People are concerned about that. Well, what Absolutely. Is um, I'm concerned about it as well. <laughs> um, I tend to look at the glass as half full and that we're moving forward. And as I said uh, earlier, that I couldn't uh, move forward and I couldn't ask my staff to move forward if I didn't truly believe that we're going to get beyond this. And, and the entire collection is still on premises? The collection uh, remains at the Rose at this time, absolutely, current time? Absolutely. And what about the uh, talk about some kind of arrangement with through Sotheby's to uh, lease, loan, however you want to put it, uh, objects from the collection in order to raise funds for the university operations? Where does that stand right now? Um, as I said to you, um, we don't really know where it stands, other than to say that we've met with Sotheby's mm -hmm. um, and that they have put together um, a package uh, uh, to present to um, possible um, venues, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but we have not heard a peep. Okay. D are you familiar with what that package consists of? What is the, the details? Okay. Um, do you know whether this marvelous uh, signature, the Kooning, behind you is uh, one of the pieces that as, as we said, we you really no, can't, no. either can't uh, talk about it or, or not completely privy to the details? But as far as you know, the, those um, explorations are still going forward? Yes, as far as we know. Okay. Yeah. But you haven't heard anything about any specific arrangements Absolutely and everything not. right now? Nothing. So like, so let's move on to the positive momentum that's been generated here, especially with you, Dabney. Um, your position, I understand, as Director of Academic Programs is a new one here. It hasn't uh, been here before at Brandeis. And uh, tell us exactly what your function is and how it's going to enhance the uh, relation of this museum to the greater university. Well, as Director of Academic Programs, my primary purpose is to integrate the collection and exhibitions that the Rose puts on into the curriculum and student life. So both within the academic uh, environment, into classes, and also into just students', students daily experience here mm -hmm. at Brandeis. Mm -hmm. um, this is a position that's modeled after many across the country at college and university art museums. Um, they were initiated by the Mellon Foundation, I think about 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer. Um, and they're quite successful positions. So I have a lot of um, wonderful colleagues around the country with whom I can consult um, to find best practices mm -hmm. for getting classes in here from um, multiple disciplines. Is the Mellon found funding this particular position no, here? No, not oh, funding the But they kind of did a, a yeah. lot of seed money for this yeah. kind of... I think they, they seeded about 10 to 12 positions. I see. And how are you going about it? What, in what ways are you integrating it with the university, with courses and so on? Yeah, we're inviting um, a lot of classes, a lot of faculty in to come look at works of art. Um, I, I gave a presentation, for example, last week to all of the chairs of every department at Brandeis. Mm -hmm. We talked about the ways that I could see art being integrated into multiple kinds of disciplines. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the most important points about that is that art isn't merely kind of an illustration of a period, but um, the thinking and critical thinking skills that happen when we look at art or make art can be relevant to all sorts of disciplines and ways of thinking within a liberal arts curriculum. For example, what kinds of courses have you brought in here and are you planning to in the future semester? Well, um, this semester we had about 17 classes visit. 
visit, most were from fine arts as expected, this is my mm -hmm. first semester. Mm -hmm. um, but we also had a wonderful introduction to literary studies course come in with about 60 students, um, and we looked at early 20th century paintings and talked about early 20th century literature. Mm -hmm. um, we had education courses here, we had um, a great philosophy course called Environmental Ethics that used Roy's show called Waterways. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at a lot of landscape paintings and photographs and talked extensively about how artists construct notions of nature um, and how that can impact policy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, next semester I'm excited because uh, there's a possibility that we'll have a very big class that's studying health and public policy. Okay. And we're going to look at the William Kentridge video, um, which deals with the AIDS crisis in South Africa, yeah. uh, as well as a number of other pieces, possibly a photograph by Nicholas Nixon and some other things that I'm kind of digging around in the collection to find right now. Okay. And uh, would you say then that there's uh, more of a sense in the university that this is an essential place, that it can be very much a part of everyday academic life? Uh, uh, is there any corner being turned in, in terms of how this museum is perceived, not only by the faculty, but by the new administration? That's Absolutely. That's the feeling that I get. I wouldn't have come here. <laughs> um, and I, think, I actually think it's a very important um, positive move on the part of Brandeis to create this position mm. um, because it is one that uh, means that they're taking the collection very seriously and thinking of it as part of the glue, part of the fabric of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, they wouldn't do that <laughs> unless they wanted that to happen. Absolutely. Um, uh, you know, there's not tons of money at Brandeis and to create a new position is a very serious matter. So um, I believe, uh, just as Roy does, I, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think things were uh, um, improving dramatically. Going forward, what are some of your plans for exhibitions or programs uh, in the future? What, 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 what are the things you hope to do here? Well, um, uh, beginning in June 2011, we'll start celebrating our 50th anniversary. Right. Um, the museum opened in June of uh, 1961, mm -hmm. so we're going to be doing an exhibit um, that will give an overview of the museum's history, including some of the important uh, acquisitions that came into the collection, certainly the acquisitions that Sam Hunter brought in. Yeah. Um, the Kuning, for example. <laughs> um, Exhibit A. And, and uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, the important touchstones in history as well as art history and, and the history of the roads and sort of dovetailing those together. Um, as well as showing the Gewurz Mnuchin, which is the collection that Sam Hunter brought in. Mm -hmm. um, in conjunction with that, we're in the process of talking to uh, several artists uh, who will be doing an installation here in this uh, incredible foster wing. Um, we haven't uh, tied that down, so that's not for public release yet. Um, uh, well, <laughs> it's going to be on Culture Girl. <laughs> yeah, well, no, uh, the fact that I can't tell you who's going to be coming ah, in. Ah, I see, okay. Uh, the, the other thing is that um, early on in 2012, also in conjunction with uh, the um, 50th anniversary, we're going to be doing a war hall exhibit. Very nice. Well, I look forward to visiting again to a thriving and burgeoning Rose Art Museum. And thank you so much for sharing this with me. Thank you.